Hi guys, welcome back to our course on NumPy. In our last video, we covered the sorting and today we are gonna learn about iteration. So let's get started. So first of all, what is the meaning of iteration? Iteration means going through the elements one by one. We can use the basic for loop for of the Python for iteration. So iteration on a 1D array will go through each element or scalar one by one. Now let's move on to the coding part. So let me just write Python 3, hit enter. Now I'm gonna import numpy as np, hit enter. Now, iteration or iterate on the elements of a 1D array. So this is the example where we're gonna iterate a 1D array. So let me create a 1D array first. So I've created a 1D array. Now I'm gonna iterate it using for loop. So for x in array name or ERR and now I'm gonna write print x and hit enter twice. So the elements of on the array have been displayed. So this is the result. We can see that when we will iterate on a 1D array, it will go through all elements one by one. So we can say that when we we'll iterate on a 1D array, it will go through all the elements one by one where individual elements are scalars. This is a very important observation that we are actually going through the elements of the array. In this case, the elements are scalars. So the scalars have been displayed. Now let's iterate on 2D arrays. So we are gonna create a 2D array first. So array name or ARR2 is equal to np.array. And now I'm gonna pass two 1D arrays to it because elements of a 2D array are 1D arrays. So I have passed, now I'm gonna hit enter. So uh, array has been created. Now I'm gonna use for, for x in array name or ARR2 and I'm gonna print x. So you can see that list two lists have been displayed and not the scalars. So some of you must be expecting the scalars as a result. But we got the answer as to list which are the original elements of our 2D array. So we can say that when we iterate on a 2D array, it will go through elements of 2D array. When, sorry, which are not scalars. So elements of a 2D array are not scalars, but 1D arrays. So in this case, 1D arrays will be displayed. So some of you might be expecting scalars, but we got a different result. Now let's move on to 3D arrays. So, so the, in similar manner, I need to create a 3D array first. So I'll write array name. Sorry, I've already imported, so I don't need to write import. So I have to write array name is equal to np.array. And this time we are gonna create a 3D array. So always remember to create a 3D array, we have to pass 2D arrays as elements. So 
So I've passed to the arrays and they are two in number. So let me just scroll the brackets and hit enter. So array has been created. Now I have to write the for loop. So for x in arr or array name and I have to print x and hit enter twice. So we can see that we got the result as two 2D arrays. So we can say that when we iterate on a 3D array, it will go through all the elements. So it will go through all the elements one by one. So it will go through all the elements of a 3D array, which are 2D arrays. And not the scalars. So in this case also we got the result as the elements of 3D arrays which are 2D arrays and not the scalars. So there's an assignment for you. So what you have to do is you have to iterate on the 4D array that you have created as a part of your previous assignment. So we'll continue our discussion on iteration in the next lecture. So today we started with the basics of iteration in NumPy. That's all for today. This video is brought to you by Programming Knowledge. Please like, comment, share, subscribe and hit the bell button for updates and stay tuned with us for next lecture. Thank you.